And this some set it off on a whole nother level here. I swear, old movie set it off. Well, everybody, by, we are back by popular demand, you know, cooking with the Sterlings, right? So, it is weird that we start the show back on this day because today is October the 2nd, 2020. Today is actually uh, K and I anniversary. So, uh, how about I go ahead on and show you guys what it is I have for her anniversary. You know me, I told her I didn't want a present, okay? I don't like presents and gifts, but uh, I made sure I got her a few things special. Some things she know about, some things she don't. And after that, we're gonna end up seeing what gifts she has for me. All I ask for is a good meal. <laughs> yeah. I know you all see the nice balloons here that I have for little Miss K. Oh, yeah. It's that anniversary time, like I said, people. But check this out. Come in closer, will you? Yeah, I know you all can't wait to see this. Some Coco Chanel Paris, baby. Yeah. Got it on sale for 100 and something. I don't know. But anyway, get some of that good perfume jumping for her. See, she don't know about the balloons and the perfume. She know about my other anniversary gift because unfortunately, I had to take her to the store and let her try it on, people. Yeah, but you know, I'm not gonna hold you all, you know, in suspense. I'll show you the gift in just a minute. You know, if you just meet me back in the front room, I'll pull out the gift, let you all check it out. It's like that. Maybe even too much just for an anniversary gift. But hey, winter time coming up soon, we gonna do it right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna do it right. Yeah, like I'm saying, so uh, not gonna keep anybody in no suspense on that present. But like I said, you know, she already had had known what her anniversary present was. People, I had to take her there to uh, try it out. Unfortunately. But I will show you guys, because you may not see us this way. Oh my goodness. Full length fur. It is a heavy one too, people. Do you think you guys think she's gonna love that? She only got a chance to try it on. I ain't even let her see how it look in the mirror or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you don't get to play around with it until it's actually your day of anniversary. So yeah. She's gonna be a warm sister in this, this winter, I'll tell you that, because we are going out of town. And uh, I guess in December, you guys will join us. I'm sure we'll be filming, you know, for the Christmas. So you'll get to see us out. We're heading to uh, the great place of Chicago, Illinois. So we'll be up there kicking it and uh, doing our, the Sterling's cooking with the Sterling. fries, Katie. Y'all know what's up? Our little Jamaican eatery spot people here in the Pine Bluff area where you know the food is that it's just like that for real all right okay we here with everybody for the sterlings cooking with the sterlings yes hi back by the popular demand then yes got you some balloons for anniversary Thank you. I'm not. Yes, you really should. Turn 
turn down the music there, I'll show you, but anyway, um, come on, Kay. Uh, so, you gonna tell the people what you're doing here? Well, today we make, I mean, we open up a restaurant, so we're cooking right now and making some chicken wings and some cheeseburger wrap pizza. So I'm just waiting for somebody to come and pick up their order. Yeah, and as you guys can see, all that dang racket over there is coming from that. Yes. Working on the street, apparently, over here. Beautifying downtown, they say, so. Yes. But yeah, ooh, don't let your balloons there run off. Yes. Uh -huh. So, for our anniversary woman, what you gonna get me for mine? You know, I was telling them, little son, what you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna make a really special dinner, and I'm gonna make the make my lovely husband here a Jamaica rock punch. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna make some Jamaican rum punch. Yes. So I guess for anybody that don't know how to make that Jamaican rum punch drink, because you know I like to have me a little sip. Yeah, I know you do. You know, you're gonna learn how to make this Jamaican rum punch drink. Yes. Yeah. And in the meantime, uh, while we showing everyone our uh, our little food cart, bar here and stuff, yeah. bar and grill, little outside beautified area, I'm going to show them how it looks on the inside, show them what you're doing. Okay, right. come with me. <laughs> it's great, Okay, we got some uh, coming in right now. So, there's one of my hair, Miss Fraser. Here's a key look around, Miss Fraser. So, this is what inside look. <laughs> so, she's preparing somebody order right now. So, this is the way it look. Yep, so that is our little nice, I would say, food stand. So, I'm going to go back outside. Miss Fraser, why are you so scared? Not to be scared, I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I guess it is what it is, woman. Yes. I'm going to let you get back to cooking for them since you no longer have time to cook for me. You know, hello. My husband just played on. I always cook for my lovely chocolate city pie of mine, right? You know what I do, honey? She don't have time no more to cook for me, people. Well, no, you can't just put that. I always cook for you, Rob. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm back on a diet, too, as you all should be able to guess about how big I done gotten. So, you know, the fast food joint didn't help it any. But, yeah, I, yeah, she cooked for me the diet stuff. But not tomorrow, right? So, Tomorrow uh, you're gonna cook me something good. Yes, I will. What? So I can have that while I drink that uh, Jamaican rum punch? Yes. But you're gonna show them how to do it? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, whatever the end, woman, I'll see you later. And I guess I'll see you guys back at the house and we're gonna wrap this one yep, for the huh? day, huh? Yes, I love you, baby. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, so. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make our favorite Jamaica rum punch. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a bowl right here. You're gonna need a measuring cup. You're gonna need some lemon juice, some strawberry syrup. You're gonna need some white rum. And you're gonna need some orange juice. So what you're gonna do first is that. You're gonna make you, I mean, it's gonna be one cup of lemon juice. So I'm gonna open up this like this. You're gonna pour it in your cup right here. This is like a one cup measuring cup right here. I know Rob Baby's gonna really enjoy this. Okay, so pour one cup right here. So one cup of lemon juice. The pork in your bowl right here, your mixing bowl right there. And you're gonna pour two cups of strawberry juice. I mean strawberry syrup. I get this one here. Because my husband loves strawberry. At least we both love strawberry. Strawberry is good for you. <laughs> so it's it right here. It's your strawberry. You fill up like this. Pour it way up. Pour it in here like this. That's one cup. We need one more cup. Ah. 
this bottle is finished. That's why I, that's why I purchased two bottles because I know one bottle is not gonna be two cups. Pour it in like this. Uh oh. Need to remove the cap. I did you remove this one? It happens. <laughs> okay. We're gonna pour it down like this. Pour it in. It smells really delicious. Go talk in your mess. <laughs> you are really acting the clown. Like this. You know you to mess that up. Why mess up? You can see it's flavor. I see you a clown. Man. <laughs> okay, so that's what you do for right now. You put it pour in this here right now, and then just make sure you put all the little drain in here. Yes. So that's what you pour it in like that for right now. Make sure you cover your cups. Look at that, man. This is vacancy, people. I like this old movie. So, I guess in a minute I'm going to go back there and see what Kay has been uh, preparing for our anniversary dinner, she said. I just love, can't, can't help, I don't want to really miss the movie, but I'll go see what's up, you know. You guys know how I just, Mr. Hollywood. Be back, Right. For people to understand that this liquor here, this rough punch, 
is not that super strong, it's gonna creep up on you. So if you drink too much, it could be junk. You don't want to be junk, do you, honey? I don't know. Today is my uh, day of lounging. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna mix this around. Okay, so make sure you mix it all the the uh, the, the strawberries through. So if you don't like strawberry, you could use this rose grenadine. In Jamaica, I thought it was syrup, but here in America, it's called rose grenadine. <laughs> so I used to drink this as a kid, and we just mix some water with it, and it's super good. So I like it. But my darling husband over here likes strawberries. So both like strawberries. So don't drink strawberry. Oh, so yeah. mix the so mix the rum, the smell. You see, you have a color, so you have the color of the lemon, the rum, and the um, orange juice. So, the way you do this to make it much more easier, you do sour first, sweet, strong, then your flavor, like your orange juice. So, one, two, three, four. So, mix it around like this. Let's mix it around. Supposed to have this color here. So, after this color, what we're going to do is that we're going to get our glass. Put it right back in here. So, let's see. this glass is going to get here. Maybe we could use this. So rinse all these glass over here. Right. 
for some food on your plates. Thank you. So right now what I'm doing is that I'm putting, what I made earlier is some fish for my lovely husband of mine. So what I'm doing, I'm putting one of the fish on this plate right here. Right here. Put it like this and just lay it down like this. Just like that on there. That's it. Look at you, please. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking the other one off here. I'm not for sure both of them can hold on there. Is there big so? Thank you very much. Everyone punches so good. We need to start uh, selling this. 
Really? Yeah, at the food cart, man. Get it going. That Jamaican food, the Jamaican rum punch, man. This is wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Mm, mm. All right, well, I'll go first, then. Yes. I don't want to get a mouthful of the bones, though. This cologne that you bought for the anniversary, mm -hmm. it's uh, actually crucial. Uh, the guy made it himself. And this crucial is, man, it's wonderful. And you, you smell it? I smell cute. Yeah. Yes, sir, I did. Okay. When I'm out, you, you can just smell it in the air. It's so good and, and just like, I love the crucial. So uh, I guess we'll have him on the show uh, having some lunch or dinner with us uh, next episode, maybe? Yes. Let him tell everyone about his uh, cologne he created? Yes. Because, man, I'm no longer going to buy that uh, that expensive $200 little bottle of cologne that I normally have. This is replacing that. So may I ask how much was that? He gave it to me for uh, $10. I don't know if he wow. sell it more or what, but when he came to our, to our uh, food cart and uh, realized we were cooking with the sterlings, he was like, first he said, yeah, give it to me. I told him, no, man, I smell it on him so good. I yes. said, let me, I'll buy it from you. So he said, just give me $10. Wow. All right, gave him $10 happily. Yes. Because this is like a $200 bottle smell right here. Because yes, it lasts all yes, day sir. long. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Well, that's my, that it's the smell, smell like first time we met. Like when I met, I was like, oh, this smell, smells so good. <laughs> And I was like, he's really a chocolate man, dark skin. Like, I was like, oh my God, this man is good. So, he smells nice. I'm always gonna always do nice stuff for me. So, that's really good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy famous. So, no. Mm. Yeah, I know. Me? I'm already famous. No, no, no. I'm talking about the guy that made the cup. Oh, oh, the one that made the cup. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. He yes. deserved to be. Yes. Mm, that's some wonderful cologne there. Y'all okay? Y'all need anything? Or? No, I'll be good. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, I have her her gift over there. Okay. Her fur coat I bought. Oh, cool. She never got a chance to try it on except in the store. So I guess <laughs> everybody get to see her right. grandma looking. Bring it. So uh, she want to put it on right quick. I'll come this way. Wow. It is very impressive, baby. It's heavy. Very heavy. Yeah. Awesome. About 10 grand head. <laughs> what? With my ex called Stop. Stop. What? My ex band stuff. Oh, the headband? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's a headband. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're the best. And a headband. So that's how you're going to wear it um, this Christmas when we're in Chicago? Oh, yeah. I'm going to like look so pretty and stuff. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Honey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> so it's good to you? Like yes, it? I enjoy I like it a lot. Some people like that. I love it a lot. Awesome. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you, honey. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I guess eight years of putting up with me, you, you deserve it, I guess. Yes, I know, but oh, well, really? I enjoy those eight years with you anyway. I really do. 
Oh, really? Yes, because it does feel like Jesus. He has brought us always like different experience and stuff you know like along the way remember our relationship was like a long distance relationship for like let's see three years right well a three years long distance relationship yes in three years yes you was over at Jefferson city university right yes in two i thought you only had two years when i met you it was three yeah i think it was three me six nine ten oh yes it was two years i was uh -huh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, it was two years, so it was a two years long distance relationship. So, I mean, a long distance relationship can work was a committed to it. So, yeah, it is. So. Yeah, it works for me. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Wait. So, as far as I know, I'm going to keep sipping on this uh, Jamaican rum punch, and I'm going to. Uh, Prepare things on the pool table and soon meet you out there. You know that, right? And yeah, sure, but I know I'm gonna beat you anyway. I never like to be a loser. <laughs> you may not, but you will lose this time. No, you won't. Mm, yeah. Okay, woman. So you wanna take that down there for me to shoot and break this? Hold on. Hold on, suck. I mean, you know. You know what, suck. <laughs> <laughs> this is not where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be right there, remember? But you're supposed to give me a head stop, but okay. I'll give you a head stop. Maybe I'm supposed to come from right here? Yeah, sure. Ready to go beat the black boy out of the <laughs> yeah. If you say so. Go, Blacky, go! Go, Blacky! Yeah, I already heard the word you gave me because the black boy went to you. Y'all see it firsthand. She put that Jamaican voodoo on me and made me knock the black ball in the hole so she win. That's the only way she can win, all right? Okay, well, I guess it's game done then. You won, fine, great. I'm happy I ain't no money with you. I guess it's your game then. You yes. Won. You won. So, yes. All right, it's fine, it's fine. But you should have met me, huh? No, no, I'm happy I did. So everybody, uh. Hey, that's been a new episode of what? The Sterlings? Yes. Cooking with the Sterlings? Yes, honey. So I guess we'll see you guys next week. Okie dokie. Bye-bye.